Look at that beast. Look at the crack pipe. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Half fast, 719. Ooh, I think that was a good choice. Air cleaner. Kind of want to do everything. It's going to be black and silver. So, that's why I didn't do chrome headers. They're stainless steel. That's why I put some crap on this to give it some crazy effects. I didn't do that intentionally. Um, anyway, today is the day. Oh, I forgot I painted the hinges in the springs. Oh, it looks nice. Alright, well, once it turns 8 o'clock, that's Omaha time, or uh, whatever you call it, Wisconsin time. So it's 10 o'clock, uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. I'm going to tear the front wheel off of this side here, <clears throat> put a jack stand under there, and start seeing if I can mock up uh, one of those airbags. And if I can do it, then I'm going to weld, weld in the airbag deal. And I'll probably just steal these fittings for now. So yeah, the kit I ordered is my fault. It only came with the fittings. Um, yeah, so I have... I can't find these fittings like this. So I'm going to see if I can't contact this company. See if they can send me some of these 90s and a T with that fitting. I can't find this style. The only kind of style I can find is the push-in. And if uh, that company says they can't get it, or whatever, or it's going to be too hard, I think it's like uh, 25 bucks for I think 15 foot of hose, uh, two 90s, and a T, and then I'll be good. Um, but then I'm going to need another T because I have to T the way that the valve works is air comes in, goes to the valve. Maybe not. Let me see this valve. I kind of want to say there was a T already on the valves because it's for a dual airbag. Let's see. There's she. Oh yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, so this comes into the tank. So this comes in from the tank here, goes into this valve, goes into here, goes out, out to the uh, rear. So. What I need to do is I need to take a T and T into both of these, this line and this line. Hmm. Anyway, need to T into these two lines here somehow. So I need a T because this is your supplied air. Then these are your obviously your air air. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I need to get another T, and, uh, maybe get some rust fixed. I don't see that happening. Then I'll have to take everything apart in here and come in here. Clean up all this burn through from welding the firewall on. And if 
figure out that wiring. That wiring is for cruise control. Chibi. Chipperle. For economical transportation. Manufactured by Chevy Division. General Motors Corporation. Anyway. Oh, wait. Guys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> truck was rolling back on me. Anyway. So I'm going to tear that out. And, uh... <clears throat> go from there. Hopefully I can get this to work. So I can drive this beast. Um... Yeah, so this this was actually the part. I'm gonna open it. It says you can't return it if it's open. Anyway, this is the part. If you're gonna do a seal, what's the part number? I don't know what part number that is. Oh, here's the part number. MT focus. MT4024, MT4024, <clears throat> anyway, I bet I could have grabbed a freaking gun shell, I probably could have grabbed a 50 AE, man, ripped off, that's all it feels like, it feels like a gun shell, anyway, what it does is, Oh, it goes over that, it goes over that, then you can take the seal and go over that so you don't jack up all that in there. Anyway, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this, um, this AC compressor, because yesterday when I was driving the truck, I smelt what smelt like brakes. Smelt like brakes were a little bit on fire. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of wondering if the pulley, because it's I don't have that clip. I'm wondering if it's uh, this whole pulley is pulling towards the something. I don't know. Something's doing something, and I don't know what it's doing. Let me take this back off. So, because this is a big magnet, big magnet right here, electromagnet, and it has magnetic there, and then this is, um, I don't know how exactly that works. It's supposed to be somewhat spring-loaded so that it pulls into there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. But anyway, it pulls. So I heard, I smelled some junk stinking really bad. I thought it was my brakes. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't the brakes, I don't think. I don't know what it was. But anyway, uh, yeah, so good guesses on the truck, on the fortune. Um, I do have side steps. Oh, Ryan, I think that's what you meant. And then, uh, Night Rider, you said that, uh, new wings. I don't know what that means. Wings, mirrors, tires. <clears throat> but I do have the steps. And yeah, those are, those are pretty expensive steps. So, yeah, I am, I spending, I spent... Seventeen hundred and ninety-five dollars on the part, on the parts, I should say. And uh, I think every vehicle should have them. Uh, give you a hint: Ford has them. Um, let's let's just say newer vehicles, Ford has them, and all the other vehicles do not have them. And uh, it's gonna save on a lot of components and save on a lot of fuel so uh, you'll have to wait 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal it, I'm not gonna show it. I don't have it yet. I just ordered it. They just confirmed the order. Um, however, when I do get it, it should be here next week. But I won't be here, possibly. Um, but when I get it, it'll be revealed. You, it's, if you guys know me, I don't really do anything for performance. Um, maybe, maybe I do. But I don't really go out. Man, I don't know how to say it. So I don't, I don't spend money on unnecessary performance parts unless something's broken then I'll upgrade the part if that makes sense I don't go out of my way to okay so it's not a turbo right <clears throat> I didn't do a turbo I'm not gonna go and buy a turbo <clears throat> um, even though uh, I think fleece and banks is making a turbo with the uh, VGT the exhaust brake so, but I won't go out of my way and buy one of those parts because buying one of those parts without upgrading all the other stuff first, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, like, I'm not going to throw a big turbo on there um, without putting head studs and without upgrading the tur uh, transmission, drivetrain, all that stuff. I don't do stuff. I don't think I do stuff backwards. I don't want to do stuff backwards. Like some guys, they'll throw, you know, compound turbos on their Dodge diesels. And, you know, they got their EFI Live and all their tuning and they just run it. Well, they didn't have head studs. So all of a sudden they start having a little bit of an issue. Then they go and add head studs. Um, but, and no, I didn't order head studs. And I'm not building the truck for race competition. I I build vehicles for longevity. So that's why I always use bank stuff. Because bank stuff is always improves the vehicle's performance. Miles per gallon. Everything. Keeps them, basically it just improves the longevity of the vehicle, the engine. So the part I'm, I purchased will be for long term. It'll pay pay for itself pretty quick in the long run. Um, but yeah, so with the truck, with my fourth gen I got, I have uh, H&S tuner, exhaust, bank stuff, um, but I don't ever run my truck on a tune. I just run it on a stock. And if you watch uh, Everything Diesel's videos, he talks about how if you change the settings, um, it has to relearn. So like if you go from, like I do a stock, I drive my truck on stock. So if I go and throw my truck on five, um, the transmission has to learn that tune because otherwise it'll slip and do all kinds of weird stuff. He goes into a whole video about it, um, which is why I like watching his videos because he actually learns stuff and applies that stuff. As opposed to just being a you know you young kid and just five and hammering the gas and all of a sudden you can't build uh, transmission uh, pressure lines don't get the right pressure and you start slipping clutches and then you blow a transmission or torque torque converter starts slipping. Um, but anyway, he does his research, which is why I like everything diesel. Pretty cool guy. Um, but yeah, anyway. I don't, I don't know where I went with this video, but I kind of went way out there. But what I'm buying is nothing spectacular. It is for me. I've been looking at them for... Since I had my 99. Let's just put it that way. I had my 99 Dodge diesel four-wheel drive. And I wanted to get a set of these when I had that truck. And... Uh, when I got my 2012, I wanted to get a set of these, and then the kid bought the truck, and then I got this truck, so since I sold the engine, I had a couple extra hundred bucks, so I ended up buying it. Um, just in case, just in case we're going to move, and I have to tow some tr stuff, tow some trailers, tow whatever, 
And no, it's not gooseneck. I already have a gooseneck. Anyway, I'm done with this video, guys. You guys keep guessing. And uh, once I come back next week, I'll reveal it. And uh, yeah, just keep guessing, guys. If you want you guys get it right, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll give you something. But anyways, guys. Alright, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to get working on this truck. On this project cracking pipe. Oh, I don't feel like it though. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, comment below. Let me know what you guys think it is. And uh, I'll be surprised if anybody gets it. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.